Here's how to change the LED backlighting color on your radio. We need to remove the radio, so I'm going to first start by removing this trim around the radio. Then I'm going to remove these four 10 millimeter bolts, two on each side. Next, I'm going to remove the radio. And then I'm going to disconnect the radio from the car. Now on the side of the radio, there are these clips that go all the way around the perimeter. I'm going to use a screwdriver to pry these up. But then I can pop off the radio face. I'm going to unscrew the HVAC. I'm going to remove the HVAC from the car and disconnect these wires at the back. I'm going to squeeze in the tabs and pulling them out like that. Here we've got the radio face removed from the vehicle. The original color of this is actually green LEDs and I want to change it to white. So I'm going to start by flipping it over and removing a couple of these Phillips screws to free the board from the housing. I'm going to remove the board from the housing and I'm going to gently release these knobs for the potentiometer. And pull off the diffuser and then I can remove this white contact pad for the switches. So here we've got the board removed from the housing. They use a 1206 type SMD surface mounted LED. The lights on these board are green. These are the replacement surface mount LEDs that I got. Come in a pack of about a hundred. As you can see they're really small. So I'm going to desolder the green LEDs from this board and replace them with these super white LEDs. The LCD is actually powered by an incandescent bulb which is under here. So we'll need to remove the LCD to get access to that bulb because mine is blown. Okay, to remove the LCD here, I'm just going to come at the back and make these tabs flat so that it can punch through. Now this is free from the board, but there's two points, one here and one up here. They need to be desoldered in order to remove this LCD housing from the board. That's the LCD removed from the board. So here we have the incandescent bulb that lights up the LCD display. I'm going to desolder it and solder on a regular LED. I'm just desoldering this light bulb from the LCD. I'm just removing this light bulb from the socket. And we're going to be using this to solder onto the board. Alright, we're soldering the new LED. Alright, now that the LED is soldered in, I'm going to reinstall the LCD on top of the board. Now we're just going to resolder the LCD. I'm going to proceed to remove this surface mount LED. So the little notch on the marking on the board indicates the positive direction. All the LEDs on the board are left for positive and the replacement LED has a little arrow here that points towards the positive. I'm just resoldering this LED to the board. Add a little bit of solder. To test all of the LEDs on the board without plugging it into the radio, you can apply 12 volts to pin 7 and also pin 12. To test the LCD display we can apply 12 volts to pin 13 and pin 14 on the other side. So here we're just testing the board on the bench. So here I've got all the SMD LEDs soldered in the correct direction. I've given it a quick test and made sure that everything works. So now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall that onto the faceplate. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the seven screws that hold the circuit board to the faceplate. So here's the HVAC unit removed from the car. Originally the lighting here is green. I'm going to start by removing the HVAC face here by removing this bracket. Next I'm going to remove these Phillips screws that hold the HVAC face on. And I'm going to work my way around here, remove these tabs, and pop off the face of the HVAC. Then I'm going to unclip these four clips here, and I can remove the circuit board from the face. This is what the HVAC unit looks like when you take it out of the car and strip it open. On the back here, if you want to change a light bulb, you just simply twist this out and you can change these. I'm going to be replacing mine with LED lights. This is the bulb that I removed from the HVAC. I'm going to change it with an LED bulb. So I'm first going to use a pin and remove the incandescent bulb from its socket. Pull it out like that. And then reuse this base with this LED bulb. Remove this. And then I'm going to insert the bulb in the socket and fold this over on the back just the way the other bulb went in. Like that. Because this LED is a little too big to fit in this hole, I'm going to open up this hole a little bit. I'm going to install these LED bulbs, turn them in. If they don't light up properly, you can reverse them with a polarity. Now I'm going to replace the HVAC unit into the housing. Make sure it clips right in. And that all the buttons on the front work properly. Now that all the LED bulbs are in and this is back in its housing, I'm going to assemble this back onto the casing, making sure the connections line up, and then replace the four Phillips screws with all the LEDs installed. I can go ahead and reinstall this in my car. Now I'm going to install the radio face onto the radio, then I'm going to replace the four 
10 millimeter bolts that hold the radio in. Then I'm going to reinstall the HVAC, connect the connectors, and then replace the Phillips screws. And finally I'm going to replace the trim that goes around the radio. Here are the white LEDs installed in the radio and the HVAC. And this is how the LEDs look like at night.